Hey there. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for checking in with us before a very big week. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is the big day. Gabby's finally having her full knee replacement. And I know that it looks funny that I am this excited, but oh, six years ago, six years ago, we went to South Africa and right before we went, her knee uh, just, it, it started meniscus, I guess was the problem, right? And so they went in and cleaned it out, uh, but she was young, so they're hoping that something else could have happened. Some, you know, new miracle and science or something, that, you know. But it didn't. And so for a couple of years, she went through pain and... and oh, she just endured it, thinking, like, one, uh, the fallacy that we all... Have fallen into that work is too important and that we can't take time off mm. um but more so like really hoping for the science right and then two and a half years ago i got diagnosed with stage four cancer so she had no option and the worst of it has been that throughout this two and a half years she just had to put it to the side, right? And I mean, her knee is like this big. She's been hobbling and running our household and just in pain with no, no end in sight because my cancer like dominated. Hmm. But this is why I'm smiling. Right? Even though tomorrow was like, this, it was, it's frightening. It's a whole knee replacement. And, but it's amazing. The, uh, the, the, the science of this, they literally 3D print her knee. She's going to have a whole new titanium knee tomorrow, but they like make it exactly so it fits in. It's a, um, it's, this procedure is, is, uh, an outpatient procedure. They, um, yeah. I am taking her in in the morning and I will be taking her home in the afternoon. This is crazy, right? I'm just, I'm feeling so freaking grateful right now that, that this is happening. What I'm working on right here, which is even, it's making me smile too, is I get to do the caretaking, right? We were just talking about this, uh, my wife and I, because I just made her some bone broth uh, to drink because she needs, you know, uh, all of the stuff to rebuild. She's about to tear those muscles apart and we're gonna have to rebuild them. Um, hence why uh, I'm making grab and goes. And what I'm working on right now is um, oatmeal, little oatmeal grab and goes. And I have collagen in, in the oatmeal. Uh, but we're just, it just, it's bringing back a lot of memories of my wife, uh, what she's, what she had to endure, like what she had to do, you know? Like when I was handing her the beef broth, I, I was like, what the beef broth? And I wanted to taste it to make sure it was okay. But as soon as I started bringing it up, like, and not because I have anything against uh, beef or, or such, but because my approach to my cancer was militant. If you remember, uh, I was a caretaker for my dear friend Kevin for a few years and then my father-in-law. And so I know what's really, really important and I know what's devastating, right? I know that I put Kevin in the hospital five out of the six times that I did and it was dehydration that took him to the hospital. That's why I'm so like track everything I drink and you know, track everything I eat and and my wife and I did this together but the but the Otis of it was really on her right because she had to she had to to 
create or provide or somehow get this, you know, and again, uh, I just, she was working. Her father had just passed away and then I was diagnosed with cancer. So for the last two years, she she's just, everything has been just trying to hold it together, <laughs> you know? But now I'm doing this good, which means I get to, I get to make the spreadsheets <laughs> for what she's going to eat and set up in our uh, bedroom. We have a, um, it used to be my champagne cooler because, you know, uh, I loved <laughs> teasing my friends on a, on a Sunday morning. They'd ask me, what are you doing? I'm rolling out of bed, making a cup of coffee because I have a, a fancy pants single cup coffee maker in my bedroom. And uh, then I would draw a tub, a, a bubble bath and pop a bottle, of, a bottle of bubbly. And so my friends with kids, I always say, I always send pictures of my Sunday mornings. But the cool thing is today, uh, that cooler, I get to set up with all of these uh, grab and goes of, of little snacks and things to drink and, and to make sure that uh, she's got uh, everything that she needs within reach uh, uh, next to her. And um, just going through the list of, of, of things that, that she needs. And I, <sighs> oh, mm. apple fiber right i'm making her three kinds of, of oatmeal um one uh well all of them have a nut seed butter but have you guys ever done this nutso it's really great stuff but protein seeds the honey and then one's gonna be an apple raisin uh walnut the other one's gonna be peanut butter chocolate banana and the other one's gonna be fresh uh, raspberries and blueberries right so depending on what does she feel like today Mm. I just, I feel so honored. You know, we've talked about my struggles of the sadness of losing your future, right? And um, the, the one of the largest things, not the only thing. I also worry about my sister, but one of the things that, that greatly bothers me and makes me very sad is thinking about my wife and uh, someday her being alone and having to, to go through life alone. <laughs> and this is a really big deal. She's having a whole <sighs> knee replacement tomorrow and I get to participate. <laughs> now, it is gonna be a little challenging because she goes in for surgery tomorrow. We'll get her all set. And then on Tuesday, I have to go in for chemo. Uh, but the, the really cool thing is this is why I am uh, doing all the work to get uh, our week set up with all of these lovely um, grab and goes and, and I've pre-made a bunch of grains and cut up a bunch of vegetable, like all this stuff, anything that's in my control to be able to do because <sighs> today I'm like this. On Tuesday, I uh, will be a quarter of this. Right. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And I'm very forgetful. And you don't know my energy levels. So, break it down. Right? Hmm. Mm. So, try not to lick my fingers anymore. It's a habit that I think we've all been in in life. And I'm really desperately trying not to have that be something that I do anymore because it's dangerous. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. I'm just so excited we're here. I have been saying since January that we were gonna get her strong enough and healthy enough and, and, and focus all on her and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for her because this is gonna suck fucking hairy balls. But in four to six weeks, she'll be grateful. Yay. All right, I need to keep going through my list. Okay, thank you guys for checking in on us. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. I totally forgot one thing. I just wanted to share this really quickly because this is the thing that I am the most excited about. When I was diagnosed, as you can imagine, I was uh, public facing, right? Like I used to, I was the grand lunch lady at Google. So like 800 people know me <laughs> and cared about me. And from there, and then my, you know, I've been a, a mentor and all of these young people that came up behind me, like, just can you imagine how my poor wife and that's not even including my family and friends and right my wife was getting crushed every day with so many people reaching out to find out how i was doing what they could do blah 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 it was overwhelming right it's why uh we actually created um Oh, I can't even remember what it is right now, but it was, uh, cause that's, that's chemo brain, caring bridge, caring bridge. We created the website, uh, um, just for that. And it was our friends, uh, that were posting to it, which was really wonderful. Right. And actually the reason I started chatting with you on this format was I wanted to take that away from my wife. She no longer needed to communicate about me for me, right? It was her gift. Now I'm super excited because I'm about to blast out to all of our chosen family and friends that if they need anything from Gabby, they need to check in with me because she's gonna be like high on Oxy for a few days and I'm taking all of her devices away and I'm just so excited that I get to be the one to do this for her, right? Okay, I know it might sound cheesy, but I am so <sighs> excited to be able to do that. Great, now bye. <laughs>